Some people are going to say, leave the bears alone. This is natural. I think it's totally unnatural. Climate change, as we're seeing it, is not natural. We're going to see a lot more skinny bears. We're going to see a lot more starving bears. We're going to see them closer to where people live. Um, and it could be a lot of bears, dozens, hundreds. And so it's going to be catastrophic. It's going to feel apocalyptic when it comes to polar bears disappearing. Polar bears make their living eating seals, and there's lots of different species that they rely on, but ring seals, bearded seals, that's the bread and butter for these guys. If you're gonna feed polar bear seals, we're gonna be talking about killing thousands or tens of thousands of seals every year, and then somehow shipping them to where the remaining polar bears are. And harvesting seals to, to feed polar bears is not gonna be logistically a viable solution. We don't farm seals, but there's bear chows that are fed to polar bears in zoos. Um, we would probably formulate it, try to mimic as much as we could the diet that they eat. What you would hope is that there's still some seals out there, because if there's no seals, then it's a lost cause. You might as well just put a big fence around them and call it Polar Bear Zoo. It's easy to see the sea ice disappearing, and it's it's disappearing at alarming rates in parts of the Arctic. And it's it's that old saying, you know, there's no ice, there's no ice bear. We don't want species to go extinct. I think, though, people would judge this generation incredibly harshly looking back in time, saying, well, you knew what the threat was, and you opted to do nothing. 